Hey y'all, it's the Not So Secret Life of Be Solo. Back again with another video. Click like, subscribe, whatever everybody be saying. But um, take a look at my hair, y'all like this? If y'all want info about this unit, I can make a video about it, I can let y'all know. But this is not what this is about. Today, as you can see, my bags are packed. This video is about flying during COVID. Yep. So if you're interested about what that's like, I am going to make a vlog or vlog, however you're supposed to say it, of me going through the process of getting checked in and just showing what it looks like if you're interested in flying, if you're nervous about flying, how it's going to be. Just keep watching and I will show you. you no, know, no, y'all remember on Facebook, <laughs> y'all remember on Facebook, they had that filter where you, you, you will be a picture and there will be a hand like spraying the lights <coughs> on. <coughs> so I'm getting ready to leave. Um, I have my mask. I have a lot of mask. Mask on mask on mask. I'm almost finished with work. It's five o'clock now. My flight is at 6.30. Um, I know I'm waiting really late to leave out, but it, I flew earlier this year during COVID and it's really quick going through the TSA and everything. So I'm just going to show you how fast I can get through it. I know I can. I'm only 13 minutes away from the airport. My bags are already packed. So I'm about to head out. So when I get to the airport, that's when everything will get started. Hopefully I can ask somebody some questions about the sanitation. And if not, that's okay. We still going to just roll with it. Oh, palm trees. Oh, how I will miss you. But I'll be back. So, as you can see, there isn't a lot of people here. They do have um, hand sanitizer stations, which is good. I was about to be like, oh, well, you would think they had them. There's only like one every couple. The next one is down there. But uh, they definitely have a list of things they want people to abide by. So I'm about to check in really quick. Okay, so my one bag is checked in. I'm flying with Southwest because all of the shenanigans that all the other airlines have, Southwest would never, okay? Southwest would freaking never. So that's why I like to fly with them. As you can see, it's still very, very empty. So we're about to go to TSA now. Already, already have my boarding pass. I'm running a bit late, so that's why I sound out of breath, but it's very, very empty here. And they're doing the six feet apart. Um, see, travel smart, six feet apart. Well, it looks like they're not really touching anybody for the TSA part. Okay, one thing. They are still touching for the, uh, they're still touching people for the TSA. And for two, I taunt myself for the TSA. The shuttle will be departing momentarily okay, for gates 100 through 129. Okay, this is Orlando okay. Mayor, Buddy Dyer, and we hope really you enjoyed your Orlando. Okay, I have more than 20 minutes before they even start to board, and I'm already out, like, I'm already at the gates. For the most part, it looks like everybody's wearing a mask. That's why I am so, like, short-winded, or, like, talking like this, because I am out of hell in this mask. You see how very empty it is. I don't know if it's because of the time of day. It's uh, it's the evening. So, alrighty, and my gate is all the way down there. But um, honestly, I'm looking around. I don't see very much um, hand sanitizer stations, or I, I, it just looks like the average airport pre-COVID. That's what it's looking like. Um, nobody's really social distancing i guess like if you, if you came as a group of course they're going to sit together but yeah everything looks same old same old except it's wearing facial coverings and face masks yada yada okay so um i think they're going to start boarding in 10 minutes it's still nobody here i can't flip the camera and i'm talking really low because it's like barely nobody here and, and <laughs> i don't know i just feel like i'll be loud so um i'm social distancing i don't have anybody sitting next to me on either side just stay my six feet apart so, there's a couple of events that happened that I, I didn't want to uh, mention. Oh, my forehead. Look at this. My forehead's big as hell. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, some events happened before I got to the boarding. So, for one, uh, I missed my first lift. 
I didn't want to mention it just in case I uh, missed my flight. I missed my first lift and then the second lift came and that one took 12 minutes to come. So I didn't get to the airport until about 5.40. Mind you, my flight, I thought it takes off at 6.30. It actually takes off at 6.50. They're about to start boarding at 6.20, I think. But I got here at 6.40, got through TSA, um, checking in my bag. Oh, and another event that happened, I lost my boarding pass. <laughs> trying to record, try, just being an amateur, um, trying to record and do all this walking and talking. But at the same time, I lost my boarding pass. So I had to go get another boarding pass. So doing all that shenanigans, and I still sat here, and I'm still reading the board. So. All of that just goes to show that there's not really a lot of people here. I guess because people are afraid to fly. And also considering it's the holidays, I'm surprised everybody's just like staying home for the holidays, which as they should. And then also a lot of the uh, states are going back on lockdown now too. Actually the state I'm going to is going back on lockdown. So I will be on lockdown when I go back, when I, when I go home right now. Um, for the holidays, they'll be locked lockdown. It's pretty clean. I would ex I, I would think there will be more sanitizer stations around. I don't really see much of that. I just see a bunch of signs saying six feet apart, yada yada. We're going to see nothing else. We'll see when we get inside the, the actual aircraft and see what that looks like. We'll line up. We'll line up. You guys line up here on the windows. Windows side only, please. Um, they're talking about lining up to start boarding. Um, I'm in the As you first go to the door, group. Please scan your boarding pass. Keep your boarding pass. So please remember, everybody is required to have a face mask, face covering, covering the nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. You so, may not have any kind of openings or vents. At least they're going over stuff like that. So I'm going to lift this back Middle up. Middle D is a dental type. I don't want them to look at me. Well, I'm going to finish talking first. We're going to line up our first group here. Okay. The and first A1 group. A1 through A20 only. Okay. They're doing A1, A1 through A20. I'm 8.30. He also announced that there's plenty of room on the plane. There's more than 100 seats that are open, which is awesome. So I'm pretty sure I'll be, I should be able to get a full like three section to myself. I'm more of a window seat type of person. So I'm almost certain I'll be able to do that. A lot of people don't really fly right now. Um, if there's more than 100 seats open, that's good. Flying? Depending on where you're going or depending where you are coming from, your flight experience should be pretty decent. Um, again, I flew earlier this year in July. What was that? Uh, the lockdown was in March, April, May, June. That's four months into COVID and I didn't have any problems. I got through TSA really quickly the way I did today. So the flight experience, long story short, it seems like a lot of people are scary. So no offense, I'm, I'm sorry. A lot of people are um, being cautious, I should say being cautious not scary they're being cautious about flying so they're not really flying right now so um, overall it seems like a pretty good experience so far as i expected it to be and then it's a new room on the aircraft and also you have to uh scan your own boarding pass so. <laughs> thank you number one okay. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Relax, this face. Relax, relax. I'm just going to sit anywhere for real. Many, many seats. Many seats on this plate. I've also personally been hand sanitizing. With it being over 100 seats, open seats available, no one should be sitting next to me. Like, no mind. Hopefully I'll just have these to myself. But I've been sanitizing because um, there's a lot of things that are touch screen, like uh, getting the boarding pass was a touch screen. I'm going to talk closer to the phone because the uh, jets or whatever is loud. What else was touch screen? Uh, just, just touching things. You just never know what you're touching. You, you know what I'm saying? You just never know what you're touching. So I've been sanitizing. I think I'm going to try to get a thumbnail with this. Okay, so they just made an announcement that face coverings are required to be worn throughout the entire flight. 
Um, my flight isn't long, it's about two hours. Um, actually, they said an hour and 50 something minutes, two hours, two hours flight. There's no one sitting next to me. Also, even if in the other lane, there's nobody there. Um, nobody in this one. There's like, nobody really on this flight. I think I think I'm annoying as fuck. Oh, ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying hard not to cuss on my channel. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, they probably think I'm mad annoying for vlogging, but <sighs> the people want to know, right? But anyway, there's no one really on this um, flight. Hopefully, we can take off soon. They need to hurry up and take off because um, everybody's here. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some meat. not understanding i've been here for a while and it's only a couple of all of us uh, there's only a couple of couple of us that's what i get not being able to pronounce my words and talking crap but um there's only a little bit a little bit of us why isn't my bag out like it's, it's empty in here what are y'all doing gosh i thought this would be the quickest part but this seems like the longest it was a very 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 quick flight um, they said we would land at uh, 9. We landed at about 8.40. I mean, it's only about a 20 minute difference, but a difference means a lot, especially when you suffocate in a mask, you know? So, um, overall, I would say it's very quick. They do follow the protocols as far as wearing masks throughout the entire flight. And. Also, um, one thing I didn't mention is that when you are boarding, they only board in groups of 10. So that's another way they express social distancing. I just feel like, honestly, it would be good if they had other sanitizer stations or whatnot. But hopefully this video was very helpful for a couple of y'all, if anybody. I am being quiet because I don't, I'm still not used to recording and people watching me. I'm trying hard not to look around to see if anybody's watching me record. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. My family is here, so I'm about to go meet up with them. But y'all be good, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.